What's going on guys? Welcome back to this episode of G4 Outdoors. I'm sitting here editing the video for today and bummer deal, I hit the record button on the GoPro and all it did was take a picture of me. So I'm making this here real quick just to catch you up to speed on things. We had a blast catching bluegill today. Andy had a problem with his motor. The starter went out. I had to go buy a new one. That was $230. Also on the same day, his air conditioner went out. $800. Also that day, we had to buy a truck and boat pass for the lake. That was $100. So we got a short clip of us bluegill fishing this day, and then it rolls into the next day where we go crappie fishing. So stick around. I hope you enjoy the video. From the love of guitars, girls, green grass, and guns. Yeah. First try, first try with the crappie set up. There it is. Giant, dude. Catfish bait. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's been about. I don't know, an hour and a half. We've caught about 20 more bluegill. Guys, let me know in the comments. If you want to see us catch them bluegill the way we catch them, leave a comment down below. Let me know that because we do catch a lot of bluegill. This, this sun is still screaming. But Guys, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bummed out about the motor. That's what happens, man. That's just life in general. My air conditioner's messed up at the house. My motor's messed up on my boat. But the trolling motor's fixed. Got the batteries done. It's one piece of the puzzle at a time. But, uh, yeah, it's time to start throwing out some of these bluegills and shads and get into some of these catfish. Obviously, good old-fashioned catfish commandos coming out. And then I got an ambassador on this whisker seeker I've had for a while. Don't worry about the pink. Pink's for the, uh, pink's for the pussy cats, if you know what I'm saying. Pink for the pussy cats. Those are my rod sleeves on those. But let's get these in the water and let's try to get you catfish. I want to get you guys a catfish. First catfish of the year? Hope so. First catfish of the year. Come here, fish. giant right what's going on everybody welcome back to this episode of g4 outdoors we're out here at smithville lake crappie fishing obviously i'm holding this one up and it's it's decent uh, i'm not gonna lie andy has squashed the crappie today yeah been killing it uh, man i'm telling you chartreuse man he's been fishing a lot of pinks and he's got some bites but God, chartreuse is, he's killing it he switched up to white for whatever reason so yeah, I, I don't like to think that colors make that much difference, but I've been throwing orange crappie bites all day long. He's been throwing chartreuse, uh, yellow, whatever you want to call it, and he's been killing them. Uh, we've got, I don't know, probably 15 in the live well, and oh, my camera's dirty. So there's a couple reasons why I haven't started filming today. We've been really harsh in the sunlight. The, the wind has been crazy. <laughs> this, this lake driving across it, I see it. See, there's the wind. There's the wind. Uh, the lake has seriously hurt my neck today. It's a white cap city. It's like an ocean out there. So, uh, yeah, there's a couple reasons why we haven't started filming. The wind mainly is this GoPro is not good with the wind. But other than that, the temperature is beautiful out here today. The water temperature is 64 degrees. It's been 64 since we've been out here. And we have found a, a nice spot. I'm not going to show you or tell you exactly where we are. But uh, there's a rock pile coming off of, the, off of the bank right here. Got a tree right here. Mud and big boulders over there. And the deeper we went into this, into the shallowness of the uh, cove, if you would, all the black crappie are back there. We caught a ton of black crappie back there. Super shallow, four foot of water or less. But all these really nice white crappie are coming out of about 12 foot of water. But we're getting them about two foot under the surface, I would say. Yeah, they're not too deep. They're pretty close to the top. Anyway, I want to stick you on the windshield here. Hopefully we uh, start pulling in some more. So we were fishing just crappie jigs on like some bobbers, just kind of bouncing them around because they were liking it vertical. And we've just switched to throwing some road runners little baby underspins basically crappie jigs that are underspins and we're getting bites he just caught that one decent one uh all the ones we've been catching on crappie jigs on bobbers have all been around the nine inch range nine inch under so the ones we have caught 
on moving bait, such as the road runners, has produced a little bit bigger fish. So we're going to try to get some of these before we cap the day off. not gonna put this one in my mouth. Catfish bait! <laughs> what the hey? Guys, I'm telling you. Crappie fishing is a blast. <laughs> Come on, I got Bermuda's triangle over here. <laughs> Total. 35 40? I'm, I'm probably way off. You're saying 35 40. It doesn't feel like that much. Guys, that was a blast. I wish we would have recorded more, but we chose not to for a lot of reasons. Like we said, the wind was just whipping. So I hope even the audio when we were talking ends up being okay and the sun was high and bright. But when we got to a point to where we were could, that looks really good right there. Look at that, guys. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can see that on the fish finder, but. Oh, look at that. Look at that behemoth right there, dude. Jeez. Maybe it's come back here and go catfishing sometime. You wouldn't let me bring my rod and reel. But uh, guys, crappie fishing. I used to do it a lot when I was a kid. I just fell in love with bass fishing, but it's still so much fun. It is. It really is. Especially when you found them and you located them. You can throw different things. The bobber thing's cool when you want to get numbers, get them in the boat, because I'm going to be cleaning these fish. Uh, Smithville's got a low, small crappie population, or a high, small crappie population. So you can keep 15 over 9, 15 under 9. So that's what we're kind of doing. I'm going to be cleaning these. And I may even do like a fish fry and record that sometime soon. So you guys can kind of see that and see what I do when I fry fish. Because I'm a fat guy, so obviously I know how to cook stuff. <sighs> but yeah, even yesterday, we tried to get into some catfish last night. The big motor wasn't working. My starter went out on the boat. May have some footage from that. Um, yeah, man, everything's working now. New starter, $230 later. Everything's all working. We're back on the up and up as far as fishing goes, but man, did we have a blast. I'm going to say we caught at least 35 fish, throwing a lot back. We got quite a bit in here. Guys, it was fun. Something else that happened earlier for how windy it was, when we were going through the channel here, I felt like we were in the Lake of the Ozarks, man. We were getting hit with so much water. Like when you go to the water park rides at like Worlds of Fun, Man, we were getting <laughs> drilled. My boat is rather small in the grand scheme of things out here. It's a bass boat. It's like right at 17 foot. Um, yeah, we, we ate it, man. <laughs> like we couldn't do anything, just direct hitting waves over and over again. We got soaked, everything was soaked, but it was fun. 
it's going to be a little bit better on the way out of here. Well, if we can get a camera down into this live well, we'll show you how many we actually got. We've got a camera right there that can go down the live well. Do we? Where? Oh, here. All right. That one. What's going on guys? Andy here, G4 Outdoors, back at my house, just getting home, getting all the fish out of the live well. And here's what we ended up. It's a lot more than I thought we had. We're looking at 19 crappie right here. We did pretty good. There are some small ones in here, but there's actually some really good sized crappies in here too. Like we were saying before, uh, Smithville Lake's wanting to wean out some of them small guys. The guy right there on top's a pretty big crappie right there. Good one under him too. But yeah, guys, not bad for a day hanging out on the lake, catching some crappie, man. But yeah, check it out, man. Let's get some ice on these guys. Did you count them? Because I didn't. <laughs> there's a couple in there. There's a lot of crappie down in there. But anyways, guys, thanks for sticking around this episode of G4 Outdoors. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. We are having a blast out here. Springtime, the wonderful temperature. The crappie are on spawn. I hope you enjoyed this episode of G4 Outdoors. Stick around for some more fishing, because definitely more fishing to come this year. Always more fishing. That's right. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs>